today's verse is John chapter 14 verse 18 I will not leave you as orphans I will come to you amen what a beautiful verse people this verse is comfort it shows how the lord demands us and uh, we belong to Jesus Christ and we are not left alone amen so we always have a person to share our feelings or to ask whatever we want to fulfill our needs and who is ready there to help us in every situation of ours who's prepared everything right for us before we could ask him amen if a child is hungry a mother knows the child is in hunger and she prepares food right so here jesus christ is the food himself he is the bread of life for us he is being prepared for everything every hunger of us for everything that we demand he is there people all we need to do is just believe in jesus christ because he himself is the provider and he says don't go searching anywhere for me i will come to you because you are not left alone amen so jesus is in us we just need to call upon him and we are delivered through faith amen it's very simple amen so dear people of god whenever you are in trouble the lord says in psalms 50:50 was 15 and call on me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you and you will honor me there is the result you will honor me and the day of trouble whenever i call on the lord he says i will honor him which means there is a deliverance in troubles which he has already given it to us all we need to do is just believe for what jesus has did jesus has given success to us we just need to believe it through him amen And in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 it says Praise be to God and the Father our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of all compassion and comfort God of comfort and who comforts us in all our troubles amen So here whenever you you have heartaches when you need a person to share your feelings he says he is there he is the comforter he will comfort you All we need to do is just trust in the Lord. Amen. So he is the best or the better comforter for every one people. There will be a lot where you will not be able to share it to your mother or your father, your wife, your husband, your kids, your friends, your relatives. But he says, "I am there. I am the comforter." So let us start sharing, let us start speaking to our Lord. And let us rejoice for his glory. Amen. And 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says, God made him who was no sin to be sin for us, which means what he did on the cross for us. The sins that he took on the cross for us so that in him we might become righteous of God. Amen. So here he says you are not poor anymore. You are righteous in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord sees us as kings and queens people. not as slaves and servants we are no more servants and slaves anymore because everything is changed because of his grace if we had to be under the law for what we did we will not survive but it is because of grace for what Jesus did on the pole that today you and I are righteous in the eyes of the lord We enjoy all Lord's riches because we are not left as orphans. Amen. And don't be troubled during sickness. And whenever you are sick, don't be down, don't be under depression. You always have the best doctor, the number one doctor, the creator of human race. He is always there. He knows better. So never trust in the reports of the doctors, but trust in God's report. God's report is always for us to rejoice. Rejoice in every time in 1 Thessalonians 5:16 it is said, rejoice always. So be happy for what he has did. All we need to do is just believe in Jesus Christ and you are delivered instantly that very moment people. We all know Jonah's story. Even though he didn't want to do God's work, he he fled from God's presence. He thought that he fled, but Lord said, I will come to you. He delivered him through a fish, a whale. God never leaves us in every trouble of us. Even though we leave him and go, he never leaves us, people. Because he loves us. He demands us because we are not often. Don't worry if you're not fatherless. 
our motherless people. He is there. He is your mother. He is your father. He is your wife, your husband, your children, your comforter, your friend, your relative. He is there. He will not leave you alone. As the verse says, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. For he will come to you. He is the deliverer himself. So let us believe in Jesus and rejoice and enjoy the life that he has given us. Because he took everything for us people. Let us believe in Jesus Christ and let us rejoice. Amen. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us, Lord. Thank you for blessing us abundantly, Lord Jesus. We are not left alone in our troubles, Lord Jesus. We will not be under depression, Lord. You are there, Lord. You are the comforter for us, Lord Jesus. You gave us victory, Lord Jesus, for us to enjoy, Lord. You see us as kings and queens, Lord Jesus, but not as slaves, my master. Yes, Jesus, we truly believe in you. We are not left alone. You are running from heaven. You are running and coming down to save us, to deliver us, Lord Jesus. We truly believe in you. And this day is a miraculous day. And we will stand as testimonies for millions, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your name to be glorified. Thank you for making use of us, Lord Jesus. And we are not left alone. You are there with us. We truly believe in you. You are mighties of mighty, holies of holy, Lord. We trust in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask this prayer. Amen. God bless you.